the polluted places are kind of getting a bad rap, that we shouldn't just be disgusted with them. Maybe they're worth checking out and finding out, you know, what's going on there, who lives there, you know, where can you get a drink? Andrew Blackwell set out on a quest to learn more about these polluted places and wrote a book recounting his travels. Visit Sunny Chernobyl is the story of my quest to go around the world visiting and enjoying the world's most polluted places and finding out what they're really like in person. And I had a realization that even though I care about the environment and I'm really interested in environmental issues and everything, that I had very little first-person, direct, hands-on experience of environmental problems. I don't actually know what pollution smells like or what it looks like. The first place I went was Chernobyl because it's notorious and if you're interested in nuclear pollution or radioactive pollution, uh, it's the go-to place. And it was an absolutely fascinating place because even though it's incredibly compromised um, and ruined, you might say, almost because of that and because of the quarantine zone that's there, uh, everyone stays away. And so it's really gone back to wilderness and back to nature. So you have a place that's, on the one hand, one of the most, certainly one of the most polluted places in the world, certainly of its kind. On the other hand, it's one of the largest and best wildlife preserves in Europe. And so that kind of um, paradox I found really intriguing. Blackwell's journeys took him not only to far-flung lands, but also to the open ocean. The voyage to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch was really an incredible adventure. There's this misconception, a very powerful misconception, that it's a plastic island, and it's not. It's not even a, a thick carpet of trash. It's just an area where there's a much higher concentration of plastic and of plastic particles that, than you would expect. In some ways, it really just looks like another piece of the ocean. But the problem is very real, even though it's not as visible as you would expect. I went to the oil sand mines in northern Canada. I went to the Amazon rainforest to see uh, deforestation in action. Um, I went to a couple places in China, a couple places in India. The world is really, um, for better or for worse, it's full of destinations once you start thinking as a pollution tourist. On the one hand, I'm kind of pessimistic about humanity's chances of you know, changing course radically and not transforming uh, the planet the way that we are. On the other hand, I'm very optimistic that whether or not we survive or whether or not it's something that we recognize that life will go on on Earth. Nature is extremely resilient, which is not to say that we shouldn't care about the environmental destruction that we're causing. We should. Humanity is definitely part of nature, even when it's ugly.